In this video, we'll show you how to create a simple masked magnifying animation in After Effects. First, create the composition. Then select the text tool and type a suitable phrase. This can be anything such as a logo or an object. Align the text to the composition. Then select the ellipse tool and draw a shape. Set the ellipse's scale to 440. Align the ellipse to the composition. Then add the bulge effect to the text. Set the vertical and horizontal radius values to 220. Set the bulge height to 0.2. Press Alt and click the bulge center keyframe to open the expression panel. Open the ellipse position. Set the bulge center to the parent position of the ellipse. This will cause the bulge effect to go wherever the ellipse goes. You can also adjust the bulge height as desired. For example, I'll change this to 0.3 for better results. Now create a new adjustment layer and set its scale to 300. Then add the Gaussian blur effect to the adjustment layer. Set the blur value to 100 and move the adjustment layer to the bottom layer. Then open the title action safe. While the adjustment layer is selected, select the ellipse tool and add a mask the size of the other ellipse. Press Ctrl Shift Alt Shortcut to create a perfect circle from the center. Select Subtract for your mask. There's a slight shift here, correct it with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Now open the position of the adjustment layer. Link its position to the position of the shape layer. This way the mask will move with the shape layer in the same way. Now set the initial position of the shape and keyframe the position. Move forward one second and adjust the position. Move forward one second and adjust the position again. Go back a second and copy and paste the first keyframe. Select all keyframes and give them to easy ease. Then adjust the speed graph like this. Now, if you want the position lines to be curved, select the Convert Vertex tool and click on the position points at specific locations. This will make the position lines curved. Of course, you can adjust them as desired and make them even more curved. Yes, it looks much better now. Now copy one from the ellipse layer and rename its stroke. Turn off the ellipse layer's stroke color. And also change the stroke color of the stroke layer to a light gray. Then add the glow and light sweep effects to the stroke layer from the effects panel. Set the glow radius to 50. We want light to fall on the ellipse at specific locations as it moves. So go back to second one and set the center point of the light sweep effect to the like this. Set the sweep intensity value to 50 and the edge thickness value to 5. This will create a light pulse effect as the ellipse moves. Now copy another light sweep effect. Go forward 3 seconds and set the center point of the light sweep effect like this. Then open the scale value the text layer. Start the keyframe and set its value to 80. Go forward 1 second and set its value to 100. Go forward to 3 seconds and leave the keyframe as is. Then go forward one second and set its value to 80. Select all the keyframes and give them to easy ease. Then set the speed graph like this. If the animation is a little fast, open the keyframes of the other layers. 
Select them all, and slightly increase the distance between the keyframes by pressing the Alt key on your keyboard. Now it's much better. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative so far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for new videos. See you in new videos.